flying everywhere. You know, now the spring got here. Look at you. Thank you. That's great for mosquito control. Yeah, man. You, when you go fishing, I'll just hang out with you. You Get should. I have to see what's going on. Wait a minute. There's no wind in here, Ronnie. Where are we? <coughs> Cuba. <coughs> <laughs> we we have really screwed this time. Like this thing. We don't end up in Cuba this time. Man. So what happens? You just never know. <laughs> I hope we're not Cuba. Yeah. But if so, we need a boat to well, go to the back said, of the well, state. They said it was a fishing trip when we hopped on that boat. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got running my bass boat, and I forgot to tell them where we were going this morning. Actually, where we are right now is uh, hanging out in the uh, cigar room. This is a lot different than the vault. At the yeah, basement yeah, building, with all those kind of, smart doors. This is kind of cool. So this is a different kind of vault, cigar vault. Yeah, tell me about where we where we're hanging um, here. We're in uh, the humidor at City News, and uh, you can get some really great, awesome cigars. I don't yeah, even especially smoke. unlit ones. I don't even smoke in this. This is kind of cool. That's because there's skeeters in here. <laughs> I don't know if it's special blend. It's not that kind of a special blend. That hasn't been approved by voters in Ohio yet. Maybe yeah. November, I guess, we'll have to see. I don't know. We're not advocating anything. We're just telling you what the news is yeah. all about. But uh, we just wandered in here and uh, in between uh, shots at the, for the Middle Ohio Rock Show. You know, if you had a, had a chance to hang out with a couple guys, just got done talking to Jimmy mm -hmm. Vincent and yeah. Steve. Yeah, his last name. Mm -hmm. I said it sounded like a fish. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. It's got a C and an I in it, yeah. so C-I, we'll yeah. call him Steve I, but really a couple of cool guys, and oh, Ed yeah. John, what, uh, what a oh, neat dude, man, just so much history with him. Oh, I know, and we got a couple other people coming up. It's like a posse you know, showing like, up. Like Dane, and just have a million stories for you. Yeah, you know, we have Dane Donahue coming here tonight. I saw Eric Bartle mm -hmm. actually going to oh, kick yeah. on by, too. Yeah, so. Awesome. You know, I've got a fishing tournament at Knox Lake tomorrow. I hope I can get my butt out of here tonight. We better get this I thing know, rolling. I tell you, we should. All right, well, let's cut through the smoke and head on out the rock show. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Tommy Barnes. We are hanging out in downtown Mansfield in an alley as we're filming alley. an episode of Mid Ohio Rock Show here. Been uh, doing some cool stuff with my buddy Ronnie Hughes and yeah. Inside City News. We've got just a ton of great people we've had, but we want to spend some time with this young feller. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> just in front of a camera. Uh, Dane Donahue joining us on Rock Show. and uh, Real pleasure, man. I know you and I have known each other for a long, long time. Long time. It's been a blast. I mean, uh, for me, doing radio for 25 years and you for playing some music and, and just getting a chance to do what you love, too. Yeah. 26 years. <laughs> yeah. And here in the Fun Center. Here yeah. in the Fun yeah. Center. Yeah. 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 So you guys yeah. known each other for quite a while then? A little while. Yeah, a little while. Yeah. 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 yeah, we've been changing now, exchanging quite a few stories. He's got a lot of cooler ones than I do. <laughs> I got a couple. <laughs> so let's kind of, you know, I hate to use the word, take a step back, but I suppose yeah. let's go ahead and do that and uh, just kind of give me your upbringing and what your shoe size is and the last time you were in jail. Just uh, real simple. What you had for breakfast. Yeah, real simple. Just uh, played music in uh, North Central Ohio my entire life. Uh, what it's, you know, it's like, such a talent in this 38th parallel, I guess they call it. You know, yeah. it's just so much, so much talent. I mean, it's just unbelievable. The musicians and the songwriters, and so that's where I where I learned and got a break uh, to sign with uh, Columbia Records, which led to Sony Records. And last September, uh, right around Labor Day, I was honored. Sony Records put me on their Legacy album, and they did a digital release, worldwide release. So it's on. Amazon.com or Amazon.fr for France or Brazil or what have you. And so it's kind of been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, had a lot of great musicians played on my album back in the day. And uh, so here we are.
Show with Ronnie Hughes. I'm Tommy Barnstein. Ronnie Hughes joining us. And I asked somebody this earlier. We've got a bunch of great musicians hanging out at City News. You know, as you've been on stage, who is the most famous person that you've had looking up at you while you play? And you're like, wow, that's looking up at us enjoying our show. Did anybody come to mind offhand? Ronnie Hughes. <laughs> Was that when he was six? You know, well, <laughs> come on. See how you guys are. No, I mean, Ronnie kept the Ted Nugent thing alive. I was signed uh, back in the day with a, with a company called Lieber Krebs Management. Had Aerosmith and they had Ted Nugent and all that. And, uh, you know, just, just seeing, uh, seeing this thing. They did California Jam and it was so awesome right. seeing those musicians. And then seeing uh, someone like Ronnie just pick that thing up. It's just really, I admire that so much. It was just amazing. Thank you. A lot of a lot of technology too. I've seen it in radio. I've seen you know with the, some of the stuff that Ronnie deals with. You know when you're doing sound for a show, with just the the wireless. Everything's wireless now. How cool has it been to actually be able to do stuff at the house where you can buy the computer equipment, the software, and just kind of sit in the comfort of your home and let those ideas flow? Yeah, it was uncomfortable for me because I, I'm not a real technical guy. You know, I never really liked the pedals and all that stuff, you know, and uh, never was really comfortable with even the home studio thing until I started working with a guy named Frederic Slama in Paris, France about 10 years ago. Well, it's been a little bit longer than that. And he uh, said that, you know, you don't have to go to the studio in L.A. or you don't have to do this. You can actually do this in Pro Tools and all that stuff. Right. So I actually started working in the home studio and some in Columbus and we could actually do data files and send them, you know, over to France. And so the next thing you know, I'm working with people from London and from Paris and, and Tommy Denander, the guitar player extraordinaire from yeah. Stockholm, Sweden producer. And they were releasing stuff in Europe and, and in Japan, and it was, a, it was a whole new world. So it made it really nice that what you couldn't otherwise do musically yeah. now is possible. Yeah, the internet's just uh, completely amazing. I mean, with yeah. my work, I spent a good deal of my day just doing uh, personality pages and blogs and Facebook links and everything imaginable. Yeah. Well, you guys, it's, I mean, it's easier for you guys because you're from the uh, little younger generation and, and it was part of your deal. But like for me, it was a little harder to pick up. But it was once we did, it's yeah. like oh, a brave it's new such world. Such a changed world. Brave new I mean, world used to here. to make it big. You know, you had to be in the big city. Yeah. You know, now you could be in Lucas, Ohio, yeah. in your home studio and get your stuff on the internet and become a star. Well, you know, you know the internet did change everything. I mean, yeah. it really did. Yeah. Well, I've got a son, uh, Casey, that actually loved rap. He was amazing at writing lyrics. 
He produced five albums in his bedroom. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, he had a $400 sure mic hanging in the closet. Yeah. yeah. There was times in the afternoon where somebody would come by and I'd hear him sing for an hour and a half, and two months later, I'm listening to it on a disc. Yeah, and you know, I learned also from the people in, in Japan and from, from France that I've been working with, that I found out that even things like when you do like the Mid Ohio show, the rock show that you guys are doing, mm -hmm. there is following, and you'd be stunned at how many countries that you guys are in. And people, you have a fan base all over the world, so there's people that, that you, may, you may be surprised that maybe they listen to one song that had Larry Carlton play on it, for example, and they listen to everything that he did, yeah. and one thing would lead them to another as they surf the net and find this. So, oh, yeah. thank you for this, this opportunity. This so maybe welcome. I'll have a few yeah. more sales in Japan yeah. over this, guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you very oh, much for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Well, you know, Ronnie, I think, uh, you know, our producer, Ryan Nemec, and the three of us would agree that since we started a rock show so many years ago, we've had over 60 episodes, mm -hmm. and I don't know, it's probably 160, 170 countries. It oh, just really? floors me. How many, how many places? Wow. I don't know. Many, <laughs> you know well, it's a bunch. You know, <laughs> answers. I was just guessing, but you really have oh, yeah. that data. Well, yeah. we'll put the, yeah. Yeah. Ryan will put this on the screen later when he's editing this. Oh, he'll awesome. research it and see how many episodes you know or will, how we, yeah. will we be in Japan yes. yes will we be in France yes yeah you want to go to Paraguay we're sure. There. We're right. coming to see you. See. <laughs> yeah. Afghanistan, we're there. Antarctica. There. I mean, you know, Antarctica. What did you say? Antarctica. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I just put shorts on for the first time in 2015. <laughs> yeah, we I'm going to enjoy we this in Antarctica for, a while. for how many months now? Oh, man. It seems like quite a while. Yeah. Hey, once again, we're doing a Jerry Bandy walking by. Thank you, Jerry. Hey, Jerry, come here. Hi, Jerry. Hi, come here, Jerry. Come here, Jerry. Jerry won't do that. That was Jerry. Jerry doesn't want to be on the show. He just wants to be mentioned every <laughs> He just wants to keep seconds. running by the camera. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Tommy Barnes, my good buddy Ronnie Hughes, Dana Ronnie Hughes. We want to thank you a ton for checking out the Rock Show here at uh, basically City News in downtown Mansfield. We're going to put a guitar in this guy's hand. You're going to enjoy what you hear. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank <laughs> you. 